Well, 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 well like welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Vanilla TV at I-49 with Arx and Beta on the stream first up, and we are bringing you Team Immunity versus a TCM, aka Broder. So it's, it's going to be the Europeans versus the Australians coming up first. Indeed, indeed. So we are expecting, well, what's going to be a great match. Uh, for some people, it might be the first time that they've seen Team Immunity playing. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I haven't seen them much. No, you know, uh, they've been um, doing a lot of practicing in the UK, courtesy of uh, Andy Bones, obviously doing uh, the hosting for him. But also, um, they've been playing against uh, Infused, and I think, in fact, they got some good results against Infused earlier on today. So it'd be they really did, good did. to see how this first game, all the pressure on, even if we were already 30 minutes late, and we're running already until 1am. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, here's, here's the other thing about this. The... Um the, the teams, I mean, usually on a Friday at these events, we don't have very important games, especially not for the top teams. Yeah, we don't usually have uh, really important games on the Friday. They tend to just cruise through them. But this is this is determining the seeding. So each of these games can be very important for these teams to, well, get placed, placed in the best yeah, possible much. position. It's exactly that. So every game is a must-win game from this point forward for all of the teams, not just all of the teams, but especially this. This will decide the top eight seedings. And uh, that was brought to you live on stream by Tapley earlier on, making fun and making use of our green screen as well. Um, we, uh, I thought we were ready to go live then. It's going to be Granary first. I think we have Viaduct coming up as a second map. What we'll try and do tonight is just flick between uh, all the maps as quick as we can. Uh, obviously, we'll rotate the casters as quickly as we can as well. We've got a long list tonight. As I heard, one of the other teams go ready. Good luck, have funds have been exchanged. So here we go. This is the first match of I-49. Multiplays I-49 then live here at Telford, England. Vanilla TV's Arx and B to bring you live on stream. Team Immunity versus TCM. Arx, run us to this first middle. So, as the demo men do make their way, as they will be probably the first players to be entering this midpoint, we'll just have to see which route they do decide to take. It looks like uh, we do have Bulk taking the lower route. In fact, uh, Rip was also taking the same route there. Uh, Scout go very aggressive for uh, who's that Scout there? Antwa. He gets absolutely shut down by Cookie there. Uh, Apore has also gone down. That's an aggressive uh, soldier jump from him, and it looks like TCM at the moment making a push through. They are well. One scout is chasing the rest of the team, but he might have overextended. He has got a demo man to back him up, but no, the scout does go down. And um, wow, I think actually TCM might have overextended a couple more of their players there, but they are definitely securing this middle. Oh, Oli comes a massive against Zebasai. He got a full hit a rocket on him and still managed to finish him off. And in fact, TCM definitely overextending, and they're gonna. They've lost that midpoint arc, so they had it, overextended too much, and oh, hold on, they're coming for a block, Uber comes in for the block, um, they don't want to give up, still want to keep on this fight going, as we see I am coming up with that counter Uber as well, just trying to see if there's any frags, and so no frags of that, Mirrorling goes down, Jukebox goes down as well, so TCM looting a couple of players on this first mid fight, still going on, Ribe denied, top left coming out of that balcony area, Apora still sitting up on the crate, someone needs to go up there and deal with him, still doing massive amount of damage, we see um, Cookie goes down as well, and well, TCM, four players down. I mean, the thing is that TCM were getting those forward respawns, I'm just, they're not actually getting them this time. Um, but yeah, it, it does look like uh, Team Immunity has managed to secure that midpoint for the time being, um, and pushing forward. TCM definitely on the back foot. Yeah, so I am winning that first mid, maybe the first of many exchanges to come on this 30 minute map. Oh, Granary. This is the first map of the uh, invite group. There is a number of games going on as we speak as well. We will hop in between them. Just seeing uh, Zevsai's spawns coming in as well now. Building very fast with Boston Basher back left as well. And uh, yeah, I am looking like they want to come up top arcs. It does indeed, as uh, we just have a look. One soldier is up there. I think he has probably called them coming in. Um, but actually, that's only the combo medic and soldier. They are just going to go in, maybe pop their Uber. They have popped the Uber, just trying to get that Uber out of TCM now. Merlin Ooh, running Merlin, back. Merlin. Oh, both sides does go down from that jumping soldier. Oh, Merlin's down as well. Biven falling. Uh, bulk going huge there, taking out players. It looks like Team Immunity in a great position. Two players alive, one player alive, no wow. players alive. And Team Immunity taking this first round of the tournament. Wow, first blood to the IM. So, uh, TCM all to play for. This is the TV bringing you the first map of this invite tournament. Multiplays Aqua Tuning Tier 2 Cup. 27 minutes remaining. This is going to be the second mid. And let's see if we see another three minutes of mid arcs. Uh, take us through it, my friend. 
Indeed, so Demo Man, um, it looks like Rib taking the floor route. Uh, Bulk this time going up top. He takes a massive stick as he comes in. Takes him down to 111 health there as Soldier is jumping aggressively again round the corner. Aporia dealing enough oh. damage. Oh, wow. He gets taken down in DTCM. Only two plays alive. Both medics have been already eliminated from this. Scouts having a death match against each other. It looks like, uh, well, Soldier came in to the party. And Immunity, three players still alive, are going to be taking this midpoint. TCM going to be a bit rattled. <laughs> what a midpoint by Antoine. I mean, he mm. absolutely destroyed about three or four people there. Um, the so that's how you do a mid-fight arc. Complete TCM <laughs> wipe. Yes, indeed it is. And one scout over on this fourth point. Um, I'm not sure if players are going to get... No, they're not going to get in there in time. They do manage to take down Euler there. But, um, oh, actually, TCM are going to be retaking this their second point here. But, well, it's a few extra cap points on the board for him. Yeah, so uh, again, the TCM players denied that yard area. Bolt coming in with those stickies. Bribe counter stickies as well. Let's just see where he's sitting. Looking like uh, TCM want to come out the Z and contest this out on the right-hand side at the moment. Aporia is caught, so that is the soldier of IM. He's just caught outside, and TCM reclaim the yard area arcs. Indeed, they have done that. They're going for the aggressive. But Chris comes in from IM, though. Marilyn goes down. Jukebox down as well. Two of their key players there. Soldier jumps up to try and do what he can. That's the both side gets absolutely shut down. Scout also down. Only Rib is alive. He's going to set up some sort of defensive sticky trap and try and hold them off for as long as possible. Does manage to get Antwa, but the rest of the team is pushing in. He's not fully reloaded. His health is quite good, but Scout is chasing him down. Soldier's also going in for the chase. Immunity going to be taking this fourth point. TCM could go down two rounds here. Players have spawned. They've uh, got four seconds on their remaining two players here, but. Well, I am. They're going to have that crit coming in, and TCM going to have no reply for it. Yeah, I'm surprised TCM aren't opting to run a sniper here. They need that pick on the medic. They're not going to deny. I am. Um, and in fact, Jukebox has gone sniper. Let's go in eyes with Jukebox. He come, has to come massive here. He needs to get this shot. Otherwise, they're going to walk in. Um, and here he goes. So both soldiers are in. Right hand side misses the shot. Where is that medic? Crits are in. Crits are in. Nothing comes from it. And um, Bulk is actually caught. Cool. He's the first loss. And Marilyn manages to stay alive. And so, well, maybe TCM will have a chance to come back, and here they come! All aggression, two scouts going forward, full heals, has anyone got behind arcs? Keep an eye on it! Jukebox still running Sniper, and surely, yes, they do reclaim the point. A block comes in from the Z, not gonna happen, TCM reclaim in a second. Indeed, they have done, um, they are gonna have that Uber charge as well, just have a look up top, Aporia is up there, does take down Zebosai in the garage, so, uh, well, just gotta look out for him, but it looks like, uh, I am, uh, well, they are pushing at least holding oh, on to the mid for the time being. Jukebox on a shot on Bono, boy. Uh, it's just going to be a crit's massive advantage going to be in favour. Oh, oh, wait, hold that thought. Sorry, I've just realised Merlin went down very late as well. I thought he went down slightly earlier. So, in fact, let's see if Bono Bo actually still runs those crit arcs. We're keeping an eye on that. Merlin now back up and probably building fast. So just keep it updated on the action. So, I am 1-0 up at the moment. 24 minutes remaining as they now come into that TCM second point. I am four points and all to play for still. Um, as Rib gets caught all isolated on his own, um, will I am push with this arcs? And look at Bonobo building so fast. Still must be on the crits. No, it's, it's on regular, regular Uber. Uber. Marilyn just couldn't have a soldier there with him then. Indeed, indeed. So there is going to be a significant advantage um, for AM as they push in. Demoman just peeking through the door at the moment, see if he can get some spam, or at least open it up for his roaming soldier to go in. Uh, soldier didn't manage to do too much, that's Yuki going down there. Uh, Jukebox is also down in return though, so a soldier apiece. Um, however, oh. that's... well, oh. I've got their... I wonder up. if they have that... Su they, I wonder if they know they've got such a massive advantage. They that's probably don't. They might not, but we'll just have to see if they're going to make... They are making a push almost immediately, just clearing the stippy tra uh, sticky traps. Rip does take down Antoine entry, and that might just delay them. And yeah, they, they did not know the advantage that they had. That can be the only reason for it. Yeah, Euler just coming up on top of the moment to keep an eye on him. Maryland still 90% and building fast. Um, TCM probably won't look at that to push. Still right, and oh, Euler comes through onto the soldier close up. Takes a massive 100 rocket, falls back. Um, no team wanting to commit here almost arcs. No, it's still what to play for. Still plenty of time left. And TCM setting up for the defense. Well, that's it. Um, I mean, they, they do have Jukebox on Sniper, so only a single soldier opting for the defense for them. But um, let's have a look where Team Immunity, well, where they're going to be pushing from, because surely they're going to be the ones who are going to make this push. And they have sent Soldier and Medic up top, so it looks like they're going for the same strategy of uh, trying to get the rest of their players through the lower doors. Actually, scouts are waiting up top uh, this time as Uber Push does come in. And here they come, both Ubers have been popped, I am go right past the first line of TCM. Marilyn is being juggled at the moment, but um, Yuki takes down Rive. So it's actually uh, all square on players lost at the moment, two players down. I am loose, but they're going to have those spawns. Yuki Scout going aggressive, point. Scout on point, Zebazai gets taken down, it's only two players left, it's going to be a two on one. Bulk 
versus Merlin and the scout of Bibbon. Will Bolt come up massive? No, he doesn't. In the end, destroys himself almost. But uh, yeah, I am. Will have those front spawns arcs. And as we see, three players get the spawns. And Bono Bo building fast again. Euler was waiting up top, it looked like he was just seeing if he could get an opportunity to go in for a back cap, um, but players did spawn at that time, so that just wasn't going to happen for him, and I do believe he has fallen out to join up with the rest of his team. In fourth, TCM meanwhile pushing up top now, they've got their demo man in there, but no time on this forward point yet. The demo man of uh, Bulk there is just desperately trying to delay them, but he does get taken down by Jukebox. Jukebox falls in return, however, and now Scout and demo man over on the point, so just coming in to block it. Scout as well. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to block this, but... Oh, actually, they've pushed in quite, nope, quite yeah. forward, and TCM aren't going to get off their last just yet. Oh, oh, there's a Soldier and Lost! He's Whoa! got a Pain Train! Soldier and Lost with the Pain Train! And it was Emporia. Oh, wow, 2-0 the score then. 21 minutes left. Um, could we see Broda dropping points this early on? One of the things you've got to also realise is that this is Granary. This, this is TCM. Broda's map. This yeah, is TCM's map, apologies. This is the map, which, I mean, what? Uh, Broda were, were taking rounds off of Epsilon in a lot of the leagues uh, on this map. This was deemed one of their favourite maps and immunity so far is they're just in complete control here. As we do go on to round three, um, soldiers, scouts, sorry, four, uh, I am jumping up on those crates. Aggressive soldier this time from Zebosai. Let's see if uh, TCM can get rid of those land nerves and take this mid fight. Uh, three players, four players down, four I am. So it looks like TCM are going to be able to control this. Zebosai looks like he's... Uh, Trying to chase them down, but he's not going to get anywhere near them in time. Uh, actually, Demo Man's also jumped around the corner. Rib might be overextended a bit here, but he has got his medic, and well, TCM do have that Uber charge ready. Uh, crit Still being chased. It's crits. It's crits. That's why they're chasing. They're trying to get that um, Demo Man or Soldier in a position where they can just uh, come in and use that before I am get the Uber, but it's not going to happen. I am are going to have it, and it's all going to be about that first sticky. Yeah, and Euler running sniper as well. Uh, as TCM go up top, we're going to go in eyes with Euler, not looking up top as you would expect. Uh, running that reskinned uh, almost orb, it's been called. Focus fire coming up top, all that spam. Um, shot misses, crits are in, crits are in, Uber comes in. So uh, TCM are going to have to pull back out. I'm following their scouts at the moment, just want to see if they float back in. But of course that is uh, what I'd saw call a trade in Uber and crits. And well, TCM building faster at Boston Basher, Bonobo will not have a chance. Well, that's it. It's going to be interesting to see if I am decide to try and make a push because they're not going to have that Uber at the time that the crits comes in. So maybe they might want to try pushing out before TCM can get that crits, or are they just going to hold firm? It looks like they are going for a sentry gun um, on their last point just to deal with the crits because, well, you don't get immunity as you do push in. So um, we'll have to see what TCM are going to do with this crit. They want to use it as quick as possible. Soldier up top. They've had to pop it quite early. Does take down Aporia there. Jukebox does fall and Cookie, however, from Sniper Shot from Oilus. The crits haven't done much here. In fact, they've done pretty much nothing. Oh, this could be interesting. TCM now could find themselves trying to defend against an Uber charge as we hear that shout from the medic. I'm curious to see if they just send the scouts in again as they did, as TCM just did to them a moment ago. Yuki actually on the front foot. Uh, ski, stickies have been called. Need someone to take the hit or just jump past them. Do not want to be forced early. Arx, watch Jukebox. I saw him up top. And there they go. Uh, Yuki has ju jumped up top. Marilyn's there as well. The time on the point for I am. Uh, they're going to recap their second at this rate. And uh, he's, been TCM. Seen. he's been seen. TCM actually holding on to that garage. Um, it's going to be a scout battle going on the garage. Yuki takes care of Bibbon there. But TCM floating back in on that garage area. Yuki just uh, falling back. Crits are in again. Crits are in again. There's nothing to can stop it this time. But both Ribe and Merlin caught straight away. And TCM are five, six players down. That is a wipe, wipe. for TCM. And I am going to be walking for, to third. Indeed, indeed. They've got the numbers here. Uh, they've got good health and they've got the right classes to get this push. Demo Man will just, well, jump very quickly to join the fight. TCM, I don't think they're going to be able to come in here and contest this mid. There's a lot of time already on that point. Uh, you see times six on there. That's an intimidating number. Um, and, at, well, times eight, you just think I'm not going to try and contest it. So TCM on the back foot yet again. They're currently two rounds down. 17 minutes, 45 seconds remaining in this match. And, um, well, uh, I think quite a lot of people, this is quite unexpected. As, um... Team Immunity just pushing forward, uh, bullying TCM out of this choke point. Um, and yeah, they've secured this, this yard area. Yeah, TCM just defending from that garage side at the moment as we see some pills come over the top. And they're going to rotate back in. Jukebox running Sniper. Um, he's actually sitting in front spawn. He has been called. Good play by the IM scout. He's been called. Switches up straight away. Zebesai gets caught. Uber has been popped by IM as they walk into the point. 
Um, they've got to capture that. Um, Yuki on the offensive. Jumps in on Merlin. Whoa. Gets Cookie Merlin in trouble, but Merlin manages to dance away. But as the rest of the Whoa. IM team rotate in, Uber is popped from uh, Merlin. Four players down for TCM. It's a soldier and last. Will Antwa come in and help? He's just left uh, Aboria to die. But it's going to be two full heal scouts versus Sebsite, Jukebox, and Merlin on that point as they focus out Jukebox. Merlin does get the Uber saw actually, but will it make a difference? It's going to be only Antoine left versus Zebusai, still trying to focus out Merlin. And Merlin, renowned for his dodging, comes out huge again. Exactly what I was going to say. Legendary dodging from Merlin just there. And um, Stickies are on this four point. They're slightly delaying the uh, recap from TCM, and that is allowing IM players to respawn in time. It looks like they're not going to give this up either. Soldiers already brute forced his way in. Um, just trying to get players off the point. TCM still haven't capped this. If they lose any more players, they're going to, well, be in a lot of trouble here. As um, Rip does manage to wow, get wow. two kills on them. So four versus Ooh, four going into the last point. Uh, TCM on the back foot again. Both Ubers have been popped. We're going to have to see if Immunity do push back. One scout trying to get some cheeky time on the point. He does run in the spawn, turning some heads. But uh, Immunity looks like they're just uh, going to send their combo back to that fourth point and wait for the rest of their team. Yeah, Jukebox having a cheeky look up top at the moment now. Looking at the second, wants to come bombing in. Just fires up a couple of straight rockets. Um, nothing much going to happen there. Uber Vantage is about the same, but let's remind you, 15 minutes left. 2-0 the score to IM at the moment. This is the invite grip of the tier, multiplayer TM Fortress 2 Aqua Tuning Cup. That's a, a Poria actually takes down Jukebox up top. Um, I assume he's been called. And IM, as you can see, the, the aggression, they just never want to give up these points. They keep chucking players in, as you would expect. Zebside does take care of uh, a Poria. Ooh. Yuki's caught as well. TCM surely going to push on this. Yeah, they will do. They didn't have great health uh, pushing. I was a little worried for them as I am were pushing through. But uh, TCM definitely pushing forward here. Demo Man of Bolt just trying to stall out and do what he can. But Uber's coming out from TCM. Counter Uber pops. Heavy. Fraction of a second later. As um, a heavy on the offense from Euler is, uh, well, mowing players down. That's forcing well. TCM back again. They can't afford to lose uh, players here. The Demo Man has joined the party though. And that's going to be the spam that they need. But losing two players, three players, four players. Only River Murray left. Bolt surely going to get the kill over onto uh, Rip here. Rip jumps backwards onto the uh, crate. Scout's coming in to get him down. And wow, he's only got 90 health or so. This is going to be another round for IM right here. Scout over onto the point. And it's Antoine who gets the, the cap. 3-0 to IM with, well, under 15 minutes remaining. So we have passed that 15 minute bracket. Still time for a TCM to come back into this, but this is of course best of one format. Um, they were all, all the invite teams, well, all the uh, top seeded eight teams will play off against each other. So we're going to be round four coming at you. We are the Nintendo's Arks and Peter bringing you this Lang on the screen for you. And well, on the stream. let's do it. Arks takes us through round four. Right, so soldiers are uh, jumping aggressive. One soldier of uh, 4 IM went all the way round the back or something. It, well, it looked like he did on my screen anyway. But TCM getting a couple of kills on Bonobo. is down at the moment. Bulk also falling. Soldier comes in to try and get Merlin down. Merlin jumps around, dodges it. Scouts also meet shot in the air as he jumped in. That is a complete wipe for IM and TCM will be pushing forward. Even one scout behind. It's the first time we've seen IM actually wipe on this. Uh, TCM should take a lot of confidence from this. Merlin running crits as well. So uh, maybe we could see a TCM board, TCM point coming on the board, sorry. And uh, they need it, Arcs. They need that momentum now. Let's see if they can do it as they walk in. Exactly. So in comes the crits. Long distance crits over there. Does manage to take down one player. That's Bonobo the Medic who went down. Crazy stuff there. As the crits comes in. Crits is now out, however. But, well, uh, have they done enough here? Three players already down. One soldier up top getting annihilated. Mid-air scouts getting time over on the point. Surely TCM have got this. Yuki denies uh, Jukebox there, and well, it's uh, I am still on the defense, but they do have a slight advantage. We're gonna go in eyes of Boy, let's see if he comes up, and Aporia goes down as well. That might prompt the push here. Soldier for soldier, and um, let's just see. Um, Euler just watching that left hand side. No, I don't think that's silly enough, and surely TCM know it's their, their push almost. And here we go, right hand side arcs. Here they go, they're coming in. Right, well, they are uh, making a push now. Um, just having a look as the uh, medic comes in. Ubers have been popped for both teams. Scouts are just pushing in aggressively. And, uh, well, we'll have to see. It doesn't look like TCM. Oh, oh, no. I don't know. This is a really close fight to call here. Uh, one scout of Cookie is trying to have a little 1v1 against Euler there. So, um, Bibbon also coming in. Uh, he might get taken down here, though. A lot of the two scouts actually are going to probably crush through the medic and Demoman. Merlin going into battle medic mode, trying to fight against one of the scouts, but he was getting overhealed. And Rib finding himself in trouble as well. He gets taken down. And, uh, well, TCM are going to have their soldiers coming in to uh, block the attempts to get back this second point, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. 
Jukebox actually waiting in the Z. Uh, gets destroyed by Bulkus who came around the corner. Here fall out, out of the Z where he's just hiding and well, TCM just uh, don't know themselves. They, they want to play aggressive but it's almost like mm. that. I, I, I really do quite highly rate the uh, IM scouts. They've been having a good competition. I mean, I'm just looking at the damage in front of me. So Euler is actually uh, leading the damage this round. 2400 by the way and Bulk closely behind. So that gives you an idea. Yuki actually uh, has the Uber on him up top. Takes down Jukebox. Merriman does not have his yet. Takes down Cookie as well. So Yuki might even chase um, Zeppasai all the way out of here. No, they want to recap that second and stop those front spawns. Wise decision. TCM all ganged up outside that yard. And, uh, well, it'll be definitely TCM's push. Aporia running heavy as well, Arx. See, one thing to take into account is the time left here. There are seven minutes back and TCM need at least two rounds to get, well, any points from this match. So, um... They're going to have to step things up a little bit. That heavy has come outside here. Well, the Uber's been popped and they haven't really accomplished too much with that. I am doing a great job of falling back, but in comes their bow side. Uh, takes down Yuki there as the rest of the team just getting some time on the point. Heavy is coming in through Z. Takes down one player and actually there's only one soldier there. Uh, Scout does come in from behind of Cookie and takes him down. So TCM going to be taking this fourth point. Two players alive, Medic and Demoman. No sticky traps set at the moment. Soldier is jumping in aggressively over on to the, uh, the point. Fighting Massive one scout over there. TCM surely going to get this now. One scout and a Medic over on the point. Rib takes down the Medic. Just the scout. Respawners are coming out, but it's not going to be in time. And TCM taking it to within 1.32 to score. Six minutes, 20 seconds remaining. So here we go then. This is going to go right down to the wire, so it's just even the first match. We're not even through to the uh, knockout stages yet. This is exactly what I wanted to see early on in the competition. Well, this is going to be round six coming at you. Top damage output that last round, by the way, was in fact Euler. Um, so, we're going to follow Jukebox onto the midpoint this, this time. Up top, going for a double jump off the far wall as well. Oh, onto the opposing balcony. Does actually trap Bonobo, but Antoine denies him with the help of Bolt. We'll switch up to Yuki as he comes up top, uh, just controlling that great area. And TCM losing three players, nearly losing Ribe as well. Cookie's so weak. Ribe does get taken down, but Cookie managed to finish off Yuki. Wow. It's two on two at the moment. Scout and Medic versus Scout and Medic. But uh, yeah, so TCM do fancy it. Here we go. We want to stay in eyes with Antoine. We're going to see who's going to win it, and uh, I don't think he fancies it, Arx. He's falling out. Maybe it's a little bit of bait. Get the full heal. Oh, wow. Um, I saw TCM just start building Boston Basher straight away. They just wanted to get that Uber, I guess, before they came around the corner. But we didn't get that 2-1-2 uh, two -two fight we wanted. No, well, I think I am there in a commanding position at the moment. They've got one point advantage. Uh, they didn't really need that fight. TCM had to go for it. I don't think they had the option to gift I am that midpoint. Um, and so they had to stay in, whereas I thought, well, hang on, we can just go back. If, if we lose our medic and combo here, then we might find ourselves losing this round when, well, we, it's not necessarily going to go that way. So right now, I am holding their choke point. Uber has been popped. Scout is pushing in. Counter Uber popped as well. Uh, stuck on Yuki, the soldier. As it looks like TCM opted to uh, rotate quite a few players around the back. There is one soldier who's going to cause tons of damage. Aporia coming in from the side. Oh my gosh, he dealt so much damage to a combo that didn't look at them. But TCM have managed to secure that. They are running their medic at least to Larsa. One soldier on to Larsa as well. Medic might go oh. work. He's going to be going down to Oh, there's a block on Lars comes in. But in comes the TCM. Oh my gosh, how close was that? Uh, the combo is sitting on last at the moment. Medic is going to try and join them out. This is a weird, weird fight as it's sold by Steberman. Morally goes down to a massive sticky from Bolt. Bolt also taking down Jukebox. And now Scout over onto the midpoint, all ready for IM. And well, that might have been TCM's chance to level the scores up. Let's hope they don't live to regret it. We have just over three and a half minutes remaining of this uh, best of one. So a bit winner take all, get the three points which they especially need for that seeding to come up later after the group results. Well, right, so I am just uh, controlling that yard area and well, they, they probably won't want to push here, Arx. I mean, I'm just watching Bulk sitting down, spamming some peels through the holes and TCM, I know they won't push without the Uber. Bonobo has a huge advantage here and uh, here we go. Uber has been popped and in fact, Maryland's running crits by the way. Keep an eye on that, Arx. Um, Uber has been popped straight away. Zebazai goes down. He, he is caught. There's a scout all over the back of Bonobo, but Bibin gets denied. Yuki goes aggressive, a bit too aggressive, extending. But here come the TCM team with that crits at 85, 90% arcs. This is going to be all or nothing now, surely. It is indeed. They're going to have to go through. They only have two players. Cookies basically, well, he gets annihilated, he gets taken down. And um, just having a look where the players are. Bulker uh, sitting in that midpoint. 
Just uh, looks like they want to go through to the choke point and at least secure that that yard area. Um, TCM having to fall back 2 minutes 50 seconds. There is enough time to get around on the board. In fact, there's enough time for them to complete this round. I get another one, theoretically, but they're going to have to use this crit before I am get their Uber, and that's going to be tough because I am already on 65%. Imagine if it was a draw, it would go to uh, Golden Cap Arts like we do. But they are running out of time here. So Zebsai up top has to take care of Aporia behind. Do not want to use that Uber too early. Um, and in fact, it's still, Marin is still running crits. Apologies. I thought he switched up. Uh, Ripe is going to come in now, but I am quite wisely falling out. And Uber's forced. Uber's been forced. Crits are coming back in. They need to get the frags. And Ribes with the crits on him doing nothing with it at the moment. And they're out, almost out. And well, TCM have lost three players. Only a three on three on that midpoint, and then they're running out of time marks now. They are indeed. Uh, their players were quite low health. Back cap is coming in. There is uh, one scout over there. Soldiers have respawned. It is trying to get them down. That one scout's gone up top. He might be able to, uh, well, try something sneaky from behind there, but he's definitely been called there. However, TCM haven't managed to cap that midpoint. Um, so, well, at the moment, advantage still. I am. This 1 minute 35 seconds. TCM need to be pushing out as well as quickly as possible. Um, and we'll have to just see if they are, they are on crits, they're still on crits, and I am don't have their Ruby yet. So let's see if they want to fancy coming through that left-hand side, which they do. No, they flicked it up to that right-hand side ramp area. Um, Ribe with those crits on him as well. It's going to need a very special sticky from Ribe, but they need to take oh. care of Aporia first. And Merlin that goes was down, Percy of Aporia. That is disastrous for TCM. This could cost them this first match, Arcs, and... But hold on, hold that thought. They didn't need it. I am could wipe here. Let's see where Yuki has gone to. Um, I'm just want to find Yuki's actually hidden just behind that right entrance. As a soldier jumps behind him, is he going to walk onto Maryland? No one's seconds called it. No left. one's called it. Yuki could do it here. Yuki could deny them. Otherwise, they're going to roll onto last, and he has. Scout comes in. Came oh my scout. gosh! Could, they still need to. They didn't cap it. They didn't cap it. Wow. So has that delay done enough? Euler going sniper as well. We are into the last 30 seconds. Arx, run us through it. This is going to be so close. This is, is literally coming down to the wire here as a uh, combo is set up on their last post up on the pipe. Oh, Zebosai goes down on entry to a sticky trap from Bolt. Uh, Medic, Demo Man, and Scout have pushed in. Another fatality for TCM. Jukebox and Bibber goes down. It's not looking great for TCM. Uh, combo is still there. Oh, Merlin also going down. There's only nine seconds left. I am oh. going to be coming out victorious. Well, last kill being a headshot from Euler, but GG's have been exchanged and time left. Victor. Immunity 3, TCM 2. So there we go then. The first result of this tournament. It's 3 to the score. IM versus TCM, of course, aka Broder. And they pick up those three points on Granary. We're going to go to uh, an interview with Yuki now, I hope. And uh, well, we flick over to our special uh, interview team right now. And. Uh, we hope to see you very shortly. So, you please. Oh, it's the late also until he goes. Okay, then, so we have none other than Immunities. <laughs> Team Immunities, Yuki. 
Great result, my friend. Um, you've probably turned some faces right now already. And well, a good result versus TCM. 3-2 final score. Walk us through what you were thinking when it came down. Well, right at the beginning, what were you thinking? Uh, we were just thinking, you know, um, TCM like having fairly scrappy fights, you know, DM, FES, that kind of thing. And we're just thinking when we get advantages, try and slow the game down a bit, which is not something we usually do. We like to play really aggressively generally. But we thought, you know, if we've got an advantage, just take our time, you know, whittle them down, battle attrition, because, you know, we're pretty good at, uh, at that. And um, we just uh, played it like that. Um, when they chucked in the crits, that kind of threw a spanner in, spanner in the works, I guess you could say, simply because... Um, once again, it just forced, I guess, kind of DM fest kind of playstyle, and we should have just slowed the game down more. I mean, we did towards the end, as you saw, but uh, definitely they put up a good fight. It was great fun. Yeah, so especially what I, I lead off that deathmatch in point there because you had really two solid rounds, and it's almost like uh, TCM changed the way they play on that mid fight. They almost like just didn't go as aggressive because they knew you were waiting. But um, some solid plays from a few of you guys. I saw some great couple of kills from you, a couple of your nice hiding spots. Or maybe a little bit of laziness on the TCM side, not checking spots as well. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. You've got points on the board. Um, okay, so if you, if you did miss a game, IM went 2-0 up, 3-0 uh, up, apologies. And then um, Broder brought it back to 3-2. Getting close at the end. Come on, what were you thinking when they started running crits? Uh, you were getting close. What, you know, what were you thinking? You, you get, feeling those nerves? Yeah, our nerves were a bit rattled, comms were a bit shaky, we were just like, uh, our medic was like, oh, why wasn't someone with me, we could have charged Uber up in time. Uh, it was a bit shaky, yeah, we are just, I guess getting a bit complacent, because we were up 3-0 so quickly, it was just, like, we were, we were away laughing, and um, oh, we're going to try and not make that same mistake again, hopefully have better results later. Yeah, so I'm not certain who you got coming up next, um, I think it's Viaduct, I'm afraid. Yeah. I think it's Infused on Viaduct, Sheep's going to have a lot of fun on that for sure, so look out for that. Yeah, we saw some sheep sniping the other day as well. Um, I think the, the, the int most interesting point actually is that uh, TCM, you, you may already know, Granary is considered one of their stronger maps because of their deathmatching style. You know, you've got Bibbin, you've got Cookie, two of the biggest deathmatching scouts in the game probably. Um, you've got Ribe there, solid. Zebesai going, uh, Zebesai known for his deathmatch skill and Jukebox probably here, there and everywhere bombing in. You just seem to deny them enough when, they, when it came down to those mid-fights. Um, yeah, the first round, the first mid-fight went on for about five minutes. Is that, is that something that we should expect to see from you guys? Just not give up the fight, just keep on chucking in players? You know, just keep it going as long as you can to deny those front spawns? Yeah, that's something we like doing. I mean, we don't do it all the time, don't get me wrong. But um, if we have even the slightest advantage, we try and milk it as hard as possible and just try and build a bigger advantage off that. Um, that mid-fight was pretty intense. I mean, that close to five minutes was ridiculous. But um, it was really well played by our team. They're just fantastic players. It was great. Yeah, so I think, um, I think you've uh, deserved the rest. Um, you've probably got another game coming up very shortly. We're probably running behind already. I'm not certain who we're covering next. I think we're going to try and swap it up to someone else. But uh, many thanks for joining me, Yuki. And uh, I guess we'll probably hopefully see you later on today. All right, cheers.